Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this video, we're going to talk about the Tascam DP24 Digital Porta Studios track editing functionality. Now, let's start with an overview of the DP24's track editing functions. They include copy and paste, copy and insert, move and paste, move and insert, open, this inserts silence, cut, this removes a part. Clone track, this duplicates a track. Clean out, this deletes a track. Now don't worry, an undo function can be used to restore any track edit to its previous settings. The DP24 uses what's called editing points. Editing points are used to invoke all track editing functions in the unit. The DP24 has three editing points. They are in, out, and to. The in and out points are the same used for the repeat function during playback. The in point is the start point for the part of the track you want to edit. Press and hold the mark set button and then press the in button to set the end point at your desired start position. The out point is the end for the part of the track you want to edit. Press and hold the mark set button and then press the out button to set the out point at your desired stop position. The two point is the destination position you choose for the in and out points, which is now the part you selected. Let's look at how to edit a track. Stop all playback and recording functions and press the track edit button to open that screen. Use the jog data dial or the cursor buttons to select the desired track editing function. For example, press the F4 button to open the copy paste screen. Select the setting you want. If there are more than one item that you want to set, Use the cursor buttons to select each one and then use the jog data dial to set their values. Press the F2 or yes button to execute the function. Press the F1 or no button to cancel this process and return to the track edit screen. Let's talk about the editing item definitions. The source track is the track number you want to edit. The in, out, and to have already been identified previously. The target track is the track number that's impacted by the edit function you selected. Depending upon the specific edit function, the track being edited can also be the target track. The times is the number of times a copy section will be pasted to the target track. Select a number between 1 and 99 to achieve this. In conclusion, the process I explain is the base functionality for all track editing features in the DP24. This includes copy, paste, move, delete, all of them. Understanding the base process helps you easily perform them all. Practice is required to get the timing right for your in and out points. But once you master this, you can save a lot of time and energy on your recordings. You can now manage your tracks and not have your tracks manage you. Well, that's about it. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Click the subscribe button on your screen now and join our group. We have new videos coming out every week and we'd love to have you be a part of our team. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think. Also, while you're here on the channel, please take a look at some of the other videos and music and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you soon.